Hello and welcome to the Head Teacher's Vlog. Here we are with our Deputy Head, Mr Goodwin. So Mr Goodwin, over the last uh, two weeks there's been a little bit of, bit of a nervous buzz about uh, the U11s doing their mock exams, so yeah, why do they have to do that? Why do they have to do mock exams? Okay, so um, we'd be absolutely crazy to go into the real GCSEs without giving our students a chance to have an experience of how long the papers are, how much revision they have to do leading up to certain exams. So a big bit is just about the experience, what it feels like in an exam hall or in the room that you're going to sit in. So it's all about them getting used to that. Um, the other big bit for us is, and we say this to the students all the time, if you prepare really well for your mocks, when you come to revise for those exams in the summer, the revision is so much easier because you've already been through the process once, you've already done a huge amount of revision. How do the staff support that? Right, so this year, I mean, we, we, we carry on doing the things that we know work really well. So we do after school sessions and we did those from the off in September. So we have a fortnightly programme with various subject areas on different evenings. Um, with a real focus on, look, these revision sessions are getting you ready for your November, December mocks. Um, we set Year 11's, um, an independent booklet for a fortnight, which is quite a big chunk. We've said to them, all of these homeworks, don't class them as homeworks, class them as revision tasks. So they're geared up to making them do um, quite a lot of revision over a fortnight for a particular subject area. Um, we have run uh, intervention sessions in tutor time, so every tutor time they've got a specialist history teacher, maths teacher, English teacher. We do little short, sharp 25 minute sessions getting them ready and then we use Brownell Challenge as well to do extra revision with them. Obviously this is a very serious time, but um, are there any, any funny bits? The invigilators have said by far and away they think this is the best year 11 they've had through doing mocks. So that's a good thing. Uh, we've had a few tears and a few nervous people were bound to have that. Funniest bit, I suppose, is marking the biology bit where the question was, uh, how do you prevent mosquitoes from biting people? Uh, the obviously the answer would be things like a mosquito net or something like that. Uh, one person had written uh, a sign, mosquitoes do not enter. So what does the rest of the, like, the year look like for year 11 then? Okay, so at the minute all the staff are working really, really hard to get all the mock papers marked. That's quite a big job. The deadline for that is the 8th of December. Uh, the first Monday back after the Christmas holidays they have their mock um, assembly where we do almost like a, a proper here's your grades in an envelope. Um, a little bit of a celebration assembly as well, so there'll be a few awards going out to people who have done really well in particular subject areas. Uh, the following day, we've got parents' evening, year 11 parents' evening, so that's really important that we get as many parents turning up to that as possible, so we can be quite specific about what we need to do to improve in certain subject areas. Um, and then, really, that whole term is a build up to their March mocks where we use the March mocks as a, as a game, as a sort of, uh, we're not so worried about their data, we're more worried about um, what we need to do to get them even more ready for the summer. And then the scary bit is they've only got about 13 school weeks left until their actual exams. So uh, tonight you've got the 2023 uh, Year 11 presentation evening so uh, what's happening this evening? So tonight again it's one of my favourite year uh, nights of the year we get our old year 11s back and finished in the summer uh, they are, they'll all be coming in tonight um, it's lovely just first of all seeing them all again uh, seeing how they're doing in their college courses um, testing my ability to remember students names from the year before because I haven't got much room left in my brain now so I have to wipe the year 11s out ready for the next lot of year 11s so, um, yeah, just it's just a lovely catch-up. Well, thank you very much for talking to us, and don't forget to check out next week's Head Tutors vlog. And I guess that leaves one more thing to say. Have, Have a, a great, great weekend! weekend.